All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. And today I'm not going to be talking about ballad songs. Um, I am going to be talking about another thing that I really enjoy that I wanted to share with you guys because I think that it should be shared because it is interesting and I just really want to let you guys know that I love horror. And if you are like me and you love horror content, on both YouTube and streaming services, you will know that it's hard. It's lately been pretty difficult to find good stuff that's new or not just some better old film. Because, to be honest, there's not been too many good horror movies lately or f shows that have come out in the past few years. Um, there's been some, which I've either seen or yet to seen, yet to seen, yet to see. But I want to share with you guys three things, three pieces of content that I think are super good horror, f pieces of horror art, and I think that you guys should spend some time to watch. Two are YouTube videos from everybody's favorite, oh, everybody's favorite content creator, Jacksepticeye, um, and one of them is a movie. And so, yeah, I, let me, let, let me, let me, let me let you guys Oh my god, this video is so cursed. I'm just going to roll with it. Um, let me tell you guys what my daily routine is. I go to school, I come home, do homework, and then I end up laying in bed, browsing YouTube, looking for some new content to watch. Um, that is mostly the method. That's the grind set. And so uh, I'm bound to run into some good stuff. And recently I've run into two really good videos that are pretty recent. Um, not super new, but not old either. Um, one of them is called The Bath House, which is a game that Markiplier put, or not Markiplier, oops. Maybe he did play it, but I don't know. Um, that Jacksepticeye played, and it's by Chilla's Art, a great horror game manufacturer with, manufacturer? I don't think that's right. Horror game producer. Um... He, I don't know if it's a he or a she or a team, it's pro most likely a team, but Chill's Art makes some great games that are great for people like Jacksepticeye and Markiplier to play, which they do play. And so, The Bathhouse, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I highly recommend you go watch it. I'll leave links to all of these videos, both these videos in the description, and you can just find the movie wherever, whatever platform you use to watch movies or shows. But, um, anyways, the second video is also by Jacksepticeye. Um, it is called, uh, Love Sam, which is a really unique horror game that I love a lot. Because when I watch a horror movie or a horror game, I'm not so much looking for quality of, like, camera or, like, quality of gameplay or, like, mechanics I mean, sure, those all are pretty important to the total aspect of a horror content piece, but what I'm looking for is story. I want a story-driven piece of art that will grab onto my attention and just not let go, and that's what Love Sam really does, and everybody knows that Jacksepticeye, he's very good at telling stories and really playing these kind of story-driven games. And when I watched this, I was sucked in with no escape out. Um, I usually watch these to fall asleep to, like I'll watch them at like 11 p.m. and just pass out. But I, for some reason, I just couldn't pass out watching this one. It really just drawed my attention so much that I just couldn't fall asleep. Um, it is, both of these videos are like an hour and 30 minutes, an hour and 40 minutes. They're definitely longer gameplay videos, but I highly recommend them because you will be drawn in. You will be sucked in like me. There's no doubt about it, unless you just don't like horror. But I do have to make a disclaimer about Love, Sam. It is a very, very story-driven game, which means there's a lot of Jack reading. Jack. A lot of Sean reading. Because um, it's mostly uh, reading book pages and reading a diary, which is... Not too exciting for some people, but if you are really in it for the story, then you will love it. Uh, I definitely did. 
And another thing I want to mention about that is both of these have pretty good scares. Like, you, I, I've been watching horror movies since I came out of the womb. I, I've been submerged in this kind of content since the day I could learn how to speak. Um, mostly because I love it and I love the scare factor, but usually I can predict these kind of shows and movies and films and games. I can see when the jump scares are coming. I can see when the suspense is building up and usually it's pretty hard to get me, but for some reason, these games, they just throwed some wild zingers and not only that, but the buildup to the scares is great in the bathhouse. The scare buildup is in my opinion, very superior, and in in Love Sam, it's not so much about build-up, it's more about placement, so like, maybe there's the character reading a note, and then he puts the note down, like he's in the bathroom, and he's next to the mirror, and he picks up a note, and then he puts the note down after reading it, and there's something in the mirror, like, stuff that'll catch you off guard because you just weren't expecting it, which... You know, it's it's a pretty cheap jump scare, but if it's effective, it's effective. And it definitely leaves a long-lasting effect in that game because you get so submerged in what he's reading that when you come back to the terms of the game and you get scared, then you're like, wow, I, I was not prepared for that. But, yeah. Anyways, moving on to the final thing that I wanted to talk about, which was a movie called Smile, which actually came out this year. Um... It's, I don't remember the produce, producer's name, I'm sorry, but it's a pretty popular film now. It's called Smile. It came out in 2023. Do not mistake it for the older Smile, which was about, like, teenagers playing Truth or Dare or some garbage. That, that movie actually sucked, but this movie is very good, actually. I went into it expecting a really bad film because I, I just heard, like, that all the films are not that good that came out this year. So I, I went into it not expecting really anything good or anything exciting. I was expecting it just to be the classic classic horror plot line, which really threw me off guard when it was a really good psychological slash uh, just horror fil flick. Like, it had both psychological aspects and just, like, gory creature aspects, which both really I love to the max, like, it's kind of, if you mixed the movie It with, um, I don't know, I don't want to say The Shining, but just, like, some mental health issues, like, mix mental health issues with It, and you got a really scary combo, um, and it throws so many different paths and different, um, twists and turns that I really just loved. And although some of the jumps are, the jump scares are pretty cheesy, I don't really mind. Because, again, the story is just pretty good. Um, it's more about, like, how the characters, the character degrades as a person and their mental health, which is really a scary aspect to me. Not so much just like, oh, jump scare, wow, let's continue the story. It's more of watching a person fall into insanity and these creatures that sh start showing up and it's just a really really good horror flick and i highly recommend it um i'm not sure where it's streamed it's streamed on most any platforms i'm pretty sure that you can pay for but maybe not but i would highly recommend that you guys you other horror fans out there that are also my fans um i'm sharing these three pieces of content because i really think that they're worth taking the few hours of time to watch. I wouldn't recommend watching them all in the same day, because that would kind of ruin them. You, it's one of those things where you can't oversaturate your day with. You watch maybe like one every day, or maybe one every other day, but don't, don't crush them all out instantly. I recommend spreading them out over time, but yeah. Um, as always, I will leave a link to my discord below because it is growing rapidly and we're just kind of chill there and you guys should also subscribe because i i don't know you guys just should and if you really want me to keep making this kind of horror content let me know because i love just 
sitting down and talking with you guys about things that I enjoy other than bow songs. Because, you know, people have other interests than just one thing. And like me, a creator who has now over a thousand people watching him, um, I do feel like I should share some other things that I'm interested in other than just this one thing. I know that my channel started as a bow song only kind of video or kind of channel, but I kind of want to progress it into something further and just start building a stronger, night tight knit community. And yeah, maybe one day I'll start talking about those things that I have um, keyboards because that's that's another big story for me because I I have quite the obsession with them and that one sounds super good and maybe I'll show you guys one day what it sounds like. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day, and if you watch this entire video, you are a super fan. I um, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Most likely a review video, because I have quite a bit of stuff to review. And yeah, I'll see you.